This is part six of the uh, three phase conversion, following on from where we're using the relay as an automatic start stop. One or two things that weren't immediately apparent uh, on that video and on this wiring diagram. For instance, when you connect that, and this is the live here, so the live goes along here and through the start, but it also goes along through this loop, energizes the coil, pulls the relay in, and then the feed goes back through. Well, at that point, that feed can go back down there and through to the start. Well, that's just me um, being a bit lackadaisical. What we actually have here is a double pole switch. So therefore, that's not connected there. We have another contact there and there, and this is another switch. So when we press that down, that goes through there to the start capacitor, and the contact goes through here, round there to that coil. Pulls the relay in, pulls those contacts together, which connects the live to the run and back to the coil. But when we let go, that bit's disconnected, so there's no feed back along there through to the start capacitor. A further thought was, although it's fine to have the switch there next to the neutral, it would probably be better to have the stop switch in this link here. So you press the stop switch and it disconnects that link which allows the contacts to drop out. I'm going to just now show you a double pole switch. The one I actually used, and it was wired this way, but I drew it in a slightly obscure fashion. So here's one of the switches we use, and this is a double pole. And these are normally open, meaning what it says, so they close when you press the button. And actually on these ones it says NO, but there are two in and two out. One assumes they're not cross-wired or anything outrageous. So we'll just check for continuity. We've got it on the arrow pointing to the bar or the musical note. And well, let's just see if anything's connected. See if it works? Yeah. Nothing's connected there. Not there. Not there. Right. So this will be a bit fiddly. So just press the button in. Yeah. That one's alright. And is it connected to that? No. And is it connected to that? No. Check the other one. Just to make sure the switch is not a bit weird, because it is a second hand switch. Used to do go to a scrapyard called Jackdaw Lane years and years ago. And lots of these goodies came from there. Ex industrial stuff. There you go. Not connected to there, not connected to there. So that's good. So all we need to do is put the live into there and make a link to there. So that's that side. And the other side, that one goes to the start capacitor, that one goes to the relay. Job done. Then when you let go, both of those are no longer feeding through the switch and the relay is not connected to the start uh, capacitor so it's not back feeding. Hopefully that sorted that out. 
one or two people pointed this out and again thanks for the interest. <laughs>